Hello everyone, this is Amit Dan of AmitDan.com. Today I'll have another episode of vlog video and I'll walk from Toronto's Neville Park to Woodbine and Queen Street intersection. So if this is your first time here, thank you for your support. On this channel, I'm always trying new and different ideas. If uh, that is something you're interested in, please visit for more. If you're only interested in vlog videos, there'll be links in the description box below. So today I'm at Neville Park and you're looking at Lake Ontario. Uh, this actually looks like an ocean. Uh, it's hard to see that this is a lake. And I'm going to be starting from here up to Queen and Woodbine. And then you can see that, you know, it's a nice view here. So we have a very nice and sunny day. It's a little bit chilly. Uh, probably the weather is at uh, zero to minus one degree. And then you can see that uh, lots of people out. And you're looking at the Toronto, you're looking at Toronto skyline, and there's some rocks here. So the format of today's video will be, I'll walk, it, I'll talk once in a while, and. The plant you're looking at on the right, that's actually a treating plant. So it's a nice park around here. And you can see that lots of people are out here enjoying the warm weather. It's a little bit warmer than for, for the last couple of days. Although it's not, you know, warm yet. So here we're going to climb a little bit uphill and then we're going to hit Queen Street and this area is the beaches and we're at Toronto's Naval Park. So I took the streetcar here and this is the last stop of uh, the streetcar which I believe 501. And looks like in a very nice neighborhood here. Very quiet and peaceful. So let's climb these stairs and I'll show you once I'm up. Okay, so I had to fix my camera a little bit and so here's a view from the top. And you can see a very peaceful neighborhood. So we're just going to go take this street. So today I'm trying a very different audio setup. I'm not recording to the mic or using any wired mic. Instead, I'm directly recording to the digital audio recorder. And this is actually a new audio recorder, which is high definition audio recorder. So if you have used my, or if you have listened to my vlog videos in the past, uh, starting this video is going to be very high definition or high quality audio. Uh, but most likely if you're just watching on TV or on cell phone you may not notice any difference but if you use uh, headphone or headset then definitely you'll see the difference in sound quality so this street is going to 
hit Queen Street and then we're going to make a left turn and keep walking towards Woodbine and Queen The sky is really clear. I can't see any clouds or anything. So it looks like this car is doing a turn. I'll just wait a little bit. Good to go. A tiny squirrel crossing the street. Hopefully, you were able to see it. So I'm going to try to walk slow. What happens that you know once I start, I start doing the video, I kind of forget what I'm doing, and sometimes you know I walk fast. So today, I'll try to keep my pace steady and slow, so that way you can see things better. So these houses look old but they're very nice and I kind of like a place like this it's not you know in the hustle and bustle of the city still it's in Toronto but it's still you know it has quite a peaceful neighborhood so this is the last stop of Neville Park and here is where the streetcars you know they turn and go around So the name of the city is Northwood Road and this is going to further east and that's where we are just now. Now we're going to walk towards west and looks like there's a small artwork here. It looks really cute, made from wood or branches so it's really nice work looks like a man sitting with something there's no name or no anything so just move on so the streetcar is just uh, started to move so it's going to start its route from Neville Park and it's going to go all the way to Long Branch. And you can see there's another streetcar coming. So the streetcar is going to turn here. And the other one just started its route, 501. So here you're going to see nice mom and pop stores on the side of the street 
um, there's going to be streets all over, uh, stores all over. So I kind of like this type of street. You have different types of stores on both sides. Uh, so basically you're never bored. You always have, when you go out for a walk, then you have something to do. So look at the street going to the lake. So you can see the nice lake view. Neville Park branch right here. So let's keep going here. not too crowded in this part of town so we are in the beaches very nice neighborhood not far from downtown Toronto but still it's like a different world so I'm directly speaking to the audio recorder uh, without any help of mic so I'm not sure how the voice quality is going to be but I'm hoping it's going to be better but even the voice quality is not good uh, the outside everything else the ambience noise quality should be much improved and then we have another small street all these streets leading to the lake with a nice lake view and you can see lots of nice stores along the way So these apartments look very old but looks like well maintained and I kind of like the name lifeonqueen.com on the other side we have some apartments too which you can see People are enjoying outdoor dining. If I'm not mistaken, starting tonight, uh, the city is going to the phase shutdown. So, no more outdoor dining allowed. So, I think today people are grabbing this opportunity to sit outside and you know enjoy the time because it's going to be locked down for another month. Another nice street leading to the lake. So each side is different, each store is unique. And when you take the same Queen Street to downtown Toronto, then the whole story is going to change it's going to look different it's going to sound different so if you have noticed on my channel recently I got interested in doing long videos like 3-4 hour video featuring ambience noise from different parts of Toronto and in the future I hope to do the same thing for from global locations and these you know ambience noises or soundscape videos are getting popular due to walk from home and you can you know use the noise as a blackout music or relaxing music looks like we have a Honda Del Sol
So I haven't seen a dead soul for a while. And on the other side of the street, you can see lots of nice stores. Uh, this side has just some, you know, old apartments. So the Del Sol we just passed, here you can see it again. I haven't seen this for a while. So here we have Beach Avenue and you can see that lots of people out sitting outdoors. So Beach Avenue leading to the beach. Chocolate store. Lots of beautiful stores. On the other side, you can see more stores. And here, some apartments, looks like. Most of them have some sort of sign outside looking for new tenants. So due to COVID, actually the apartment prices have gone down. So it's cheaper to rent right now than it was a few years ago, which is a good thing. So we have a nice street here and some more stores. and some bakery small shops there's a bull right here Actually, I'm sorry, this is a rhino, not a bull. And if you look up, you can kind of see Toronto skyline a little bit. So, we have something going on here, looks like a restaurant. And there's something right here with lots of glasses in the middle, but not sure what is the purpose or what is actually this. But at night you can see that, you know, those lights are going to be on the glasses and it's going to spread, uh, you know, glittering lights. So it must be a beautiful scene to see at night. Balsam Avenue. Another small avenue. And on the other side, you can see lots of nice stores. Dog friendly neighborhood. I see lots of dogs walking around. Beach or cafe, nice small cafe.
that's a nice road going up So that house or apartment looks a bit old or run down but it, it has unique designing, I kind of like that. So it, it doesn't feel that cold right now, uh, the wind kind of died down and uh, I haven't looked at the temperature but my guess would be we are staying at 1 to 2 degrees Celsius. Ivan Forest Gardens, there's a nice park on the other side and this actually doesn't even look like we're in the middle of Toronto it looks like we're somewhere remote in Canada if you just look at that part of the park Glen Manor Road another beautiful street leading to the beach so on my left side is the lake and if you're living along the beach you have nice view So if you kind of look on the top, you'll see a set of antennas or some sort of uh, signal catching devices. So the, the old apartments, before they used to have those, but they don't have that anymore. And I'm not even sure what was the real purpose of those when they built it many years ago. Probably to get TV signal or cell phone signal, but now probably there's no need. Avenue Looks like people are lining up, people are lining up to enter the restaurant or for outdoor space. And here's some empty chairs, chair table. Another beautiful street. It kind of reminds me of walking in Auckland uh, in some parts. 
there are small streets like this leading to the ocean but here is just leading to the beach So I have another another video on Queen Street going other parts of the town. You can see that going to my playlist. Queen Street is always a vibrant and lively street. Lots of people, stores, cars, noise. I like that. Colorful also. color of that pizza hut is nice gingerbread house some stores have shut down and on the other side you can see a fruit shop TD Bank the naughty chocolate here looks like an old chocolate shop and there's a dollar store So we're going to just stay here for this light and let me show you around. We got the box side. So when you are watching this video, you're going to see that one side is dark and the other side is sunny. So it's because of the positioning of the sun. So it, it should look a bit unique. Toronto Public Library. And looks like they have something standing here actually I just found this interesting uh, display of cakes uh, this I'm not sure these, they're real but they kind of look real so I don't know if they're real or they're for sale but it looks very interesting and you can even see from this side But there's no one to sell or mention what is this about. So we're going to take a look at the library and you can see that there's an owl right here. I'm not sure if, yeah, it looks like it's an owl. And this is the beaches branch. And we have a nice park here. And this is Kew Gardens. And actually, it looks like you can go far taking this way and if I have time definitely I can try going there another day so 
a lot of people are here hanging out and we have some interesting stores on this side these are all some of them are restaurants and I can actually I can get the food smell Looks like a good place to walk and this is one of the many many benefits of doing a walk video I've been to places which I never thought existed or I never been there but I'm just you know going there because of uh, doing walk videos so it's not just you who are watching these places I'm watching with you for the first time as well so thank you for watching these videos and making me going to places which I would have never known and the sky is super clear it's really amazing spotted a Tim Hortons on the corner Belfair Avenue So it looks like this place is Kew Garden, this park. And we have some more unique restaurants here. Waverly Road I think my camera setup is catching attention uh, because of the wind muff and audio recorder and uh, camera sitting on a gimbal plus with an additional attachment it kind of looks weird so possibly that's why people are looking at it Oh, there's a huge pizza shop so this is actually a small mall it's called the beach mall 1971 Queen Street so there are a few stores inside I can smell lots of different types of food so we have more restaurants and stores on the other side and there's all over food smell actually I smell barbecue as well so let's cross this street So you have a nice, looks like a new building and there's Starbucks Starbucks is closing some of its, its stores so there's one used to be close to my condo, they closed it colorful Louisiana kitchen So I'm trying to show both sides of the street as much as possible but it's not always possible to show you everything so if you feel like cameras moving here and there sorry about that but I'm trying to still you know make the transition as smooth as possible so it doesn't hurt your eyes
We have a book city, the Pop Toronto Popcorn Company. There's another open restaurant, and I see lots of people here. So we have Elmore Avenue. And I see there's a clock on top. Looks like a public school. And then they have a big playground. And if you see the, you'll see a clock on top. So it could be a church. And we have some more stores. So I have some interesting artworks right here. So I think these are related. And you can see what they made. Did I say? Yeah. Actually, when I was looking at it from the streetcar, I kind of thought they were real people standing or sitting, but it's not. And more stores. Okay, the clock I was mentioning before actually is a fire station. It's not a church. So initially I thought it's a church. Okay, take a look at this. There is a unique croissant store. And they have actually a variety of croissants. And you can see that, you know, apple, cinnamon, Nutella and banana, strawberry and banana, ham and cheese, tuna, turkey. So let's say lots of different types of croissant here. So it's one of the unique stores which you're going to find on Queen Street. So I found another store, a restaurant. People are enjoying outdoor dining. And this is the fire station I was telling you. So this is fire station number 17. And it kind of looks like an old building with a clock that actually works. It's giving the right time. So we are at the corner of Woodbine Avenue. Let me show you just a little bit. Actually, I used to live on this street many years ago. So this area is not, you know, new to me. I used to hang out here a lot. And this is leading to the Woodbine beaches.
so let's wait to cross the street and once we go to the other side of the street that's the that's going to be the end of today's video So thank you for watching, there will be more videos coming up, so I'll see you shortly, thank you.